Africa, it seems like December is a time for reflection. And I decided to leave YouTube for a while and work out what was next for an average golfer in 2022. So I look forward to sharing with you why I disappeared for a couple of weeks and what happened during that time and why I took the break out and what we've come to in terms of the conclusions. I'm sat in a little van that plays a major part in that storyline as well, which is something that I want to talk about. But I think we'll get out on the golf course. We're here at uh, the Cheshire course at Carden Park. The sun is shining. It seems the perfect place to tell you my little story and ultimately get your feedback. So for the previous three months before we had the two week sabbatical was we were putting out four videos a week, which is a big change for me. And the logic behind that was quite simple. It seemed that in terms of the YouTube algorithm, we needed to produce more videos. We get more views, we get more subscribers, the channel gets bigger because ultimately that's what you're trying to achieve, but then it's finding a balance. And that's the dilemma I've always had. And going back to last December, I was made an offer to leave YouTube and take up a role that well, I, I, I turned down, I stuck with YouTube, but I was always determined to make sure that we didn't go down the quantity route and then with the compromise of the quality. And I was starting to feel we'd done that a little and we were chasing that YouTube algorithm and had stopped doing what I really had always intended to do. And the bit that I like doing, and that's creating creative content you see the big problem i have is that i know that in terms of viewers the content that you like more than anything is my product reviews because product reviews are by far the best viewed video so it's easy to work that one out but when i get to a hole like this at garden park the first thing i do is reach for the camera and i want to be photographing videoing the golf course because i love being able to show you where i've played and where you can possibly play some golf as well and show how good golf holes are landscapes are my thing so again, going back to the challenge I always have is we're out here reviewing golf clubs today. I find myself wanting to look at this whole landscape and video that. And the question is, can we somehow combine the two? And how will that van you've seen us in earlier become the bit that links this all together? Get up ball, this could be good. This could be good. Oh, I'll take that any day of the week. And that's the point, I love golf. I love reviewing golf clubs, which is what I've got in my hand right now. But I also get a little bit frustrated that we can't show you these golf courses. Anyway, I've waffled on enough about that. The question is this, is what I wanted to ask is, in the comment section below, how many of you like product reviews? How many of you watch this channel to watch the course reviews that I do? So like the Scotland series, and how many of you would like to see a mix of the two? That's the question. Go, go, go. Oh, I think I might have landed in a bunker. Anyway, although I took two weeks out, I did manage to get away and get a little bit of a suntan for the four days. I went to Greece and this really is the epitome of why this channel has been so good for me in my own sort of career and taking me to places that I never expected to be and also play some golf with people who I never expected to play golf with. Have a look. Oh, I mean, you see the flag over there? Yes. Uh, bunker is uh, pretty much, you see the bunker and that little mound. Good, good looking turn, shot. Turn, turn. Yeah, he's turning. Really That's good. a good looking shot. Uh, come down. Come on. Come on. No, not, yeah. not quite enough. Not quite enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right, good, good shot, then. Good shot. Well out. Oh. Very nice. nice. 
Good shot. Thank you. Well done. Enjoy, Enjoy the rest of the round, round, boys. Thank you. Cheers. See you okay. Later. See you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, another surreal experience, and there's been loads of them this year. And like I said, this video is to really say a couple of things, really tell you about what I was intending to do in terms of the future, but also what we've done in the last, well, in the last few years. But again, it's massively down to the support of you people that watch this channel. And as I said uh, before, you shown the other clip is for me to be playing golf with uh, a two time Masters champion. It's something you could have never dreamt of in your entire life. I mean, as an average golfer be doing that, it is surreal at times. So I'm extremely grateful for you people for watching the channel. And uh, like I said, allowing me to get those types of chances. So I'm hopeful that that carries on next year. But I think we're pretty much done out here. I'm gonna go back into the van and explain, like I said earlier, how the van is gonna play a part in the channel next year. And also ask you a bit of a question as to how much you want to see of that van. I think I better explain. We start by saying different day we didn't quite get finished at Carden Park so it's another day we're still in the van and I will finish this story no matter what and uh, you will see that a bit of a change since the other day we've had another weekend and the backdrop is, uh, of our conversion has moved that one step closer and that is that conversion is all part of this story but I want to start by thanking Seed Golf who've been a supporter of the channel this year they got involved knowing what we were going to do with the van and knowing we were looking to convert it and knowing what we were going to intend to do in terms of this travel element that I will discuss very, very shortly. So they've been patient and we're nearly there towards the end of the conversion. But why did we do it? But before we get to that, I suppose, back in March when we started it, I posted a video and I asked the question, would you like to see us take this shell of a van that it was then and convert it? So see literally a van conversion on the channel, which is obviously non-golf. Now, to my surprise, a lot of you said you would like to see it on the channel. You would like to see it posted as a weekly video. And we did record it all. I have uh, got all the kind of footage from, uh, from the start to where we are now. So we could do that. But before I do, before I post a sort of van conversion video on a golf channel i'd rather have your sort of feedback as to whether or not that is something you would definitely like to see so please post in the comments as to whether or not you want to see that anyway back to what is the van for what we're trying to do well that two week sabbatical meant that we could have a little bit of a think and uh, sort of assess what we've done so far and i realized that yes i love testing product and yes i love traveling and why we sort of converted the van in the first place was to see if we could combine perhaps the two so the idea is that next year we will do a lot more travel in terms of the uk and ireland and i will take the van to golf courses we will showcase the golf courses and we will review the product at the same time which seems a very simplistic idea but it allows us to combine those two elements but what i'm looking for really is I'm looking for golf clubs that have an interesting story to tell, or maybe they've got an interesting story that about a member or some quirkiness about the course. They're the kind of courses that I want to film at. So one of the things I would like to ask is that if you've got any involvement, connection or member of a club that perhaps has one of those stories to tell and would like to feature on the channel, then I'd love you for you to get in touch with me after this video, either in the comments box below, or you can email me at averagegolfer at gmail.com drop me a line and see if you want to be involved in some way but we're essentially going to make allow me to do those two things i referred to yes we can film all the landscapes but without making it too boring we can include product reviews as well combine that those two together and hopefully we've got some interesting content lined up for next year and in that you will see a lot more of this van and our traveling from a to b and perhaps even the odd overnight stay in this thing as well 
um, but I'm really looking forward to 2022 and I think like before we go any further what I mentioned earlier on the video with the plane was a laugh about uh, uh, last week was it's been an amazing year and the only reason those kind of things happen and hopefully may happen again into next year is if you continue supporting the channel and watching as you do so that's the biggest thank you is to yourselves for watching and like i said to people like seed for supporting the channel and all the brands as well that support us by way of sending product to test and all the rest of it the channel's doing really really well right now it's growing it had a huge growth in terms of views last year and in terms of subscribers so it couldn't be any better and i can't wait for some better weather to kick in in 2022 and we take the tour bus out on the road meet a few more average golfers tell a few more stories and keep on reviewing product at the same time right that is the plan i've done enough so far comments down below twofold don't forget do you want to see the van series build and have you got any golf courses that might want to feature on the channel that's me done i'm going to boil a kettle again we're about to kick off here in an early morning start on a gorgeous day but a cold one at four golf for some more product testing but time for a quick brew before we start in our tour bus, which I've got to say I absolutely love right now. Thanks for watching. See you soon.